Aerobics is a worldwide program. As the name implies, it's exercise that deals with air, that deals with oxygen. It differs from calisthenics, isometrics, and it differs because it's essentially a prolonged activity. And it's, uh, the object of the duration is to uh, stimulate cardiovascular pulmonary activity in the body in such a way that oxygen-carrying blood is moved in greater volume to the tissues that, that need it. And it produces what Ken calls the training effect, increases the efficiency of the heart, increases the efficiency of the lungs. I would say that uh, the basic purpose of my being in it and of most people being in it is uh, preventive medicine. So that means saving, avoiding heart attacks or, or, or uh, staying reasonably healthy for a reasonable length of time during my lifetime. But I would say that just like everybody else around this office, the thing that keeps us at it is perhaps the competitive appetite that uh, if you don't set your own goals for yourself in running or swimming or if you're not out to uh, bring your time down below the guy in the next office, it's very, very hard to stay with. The aerobics program doesn't offer any shortcuts to physical fitness, but what it does offer is a solid background of medical research. Its aim is to condition the cardiovascular system with fitness gauged through a treadmill stress test during which an electrocardiogram is taken at stress level. Supervising the test is Dr. Ken Cooper, founder of aerobics. Warm up just about over here. 20 minutes. Last time at 20 minutes, you're 170. Again, a 10 feet per minute improvement performance. This will be your last blood pressure, Joe. First time, you did 21 minutes, a heart rate of 179. You're 20, 30 right now, your heart rate is 160. You look great. You're tremendous, Joe. Your minute 15 seconds away from your best record when you get to 22. Heart rate 163. Still looking for 180. Everything looks great over here. That by far is your lowest heart rate. If it had to be just the legs playing out. But I could see in the last few seconds there that you were fading rapidly. That's the reason I decided to stop you at 2330. 30, 30, 30. 2330? 2330. Yeah. That still is your best performance ever, though. But you're recovering very well. How do you feel? Very disappointed. Time you've given the maximum like that, I wish you Well, you know, it, uh, I was put in a lot of work since the last treadmill for 15 seconds. Running regularly, particularly if you're showing improvements in your time, improves your self image. And you are used to doing tough things. As a result, you feel more tough minded and you just feel like you can handle things better. Joe McKinney is one of the rising corporate executives in Dallas, <laughs> resident of the Tyler Corporation. McKinney and his company have been the mainstays of the aerobics program. Impressed by the success of Cooper's physical fitness program in the Air Force, the Tyler Corporation put up the financial backing to bring Cooper to Dallas. Inevitably results in a more uh, alert mental attitude and a more confident and aggressive approach to job problems. And from a, on a day-in and day-out basis, this might well be the most important benefit of it. In an effort to encourage corporate interest in physical fitness, McKinney and the Tyler Corporation have sponsored an annual two-mile competition for teams of corporate executives around the country. Held at the Aerobics Center, it's known as the running of the Tyler Cup. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I don't have any expectations of beating Frank Shorter or Jim Ryan, uh, I would just like to keep improving and I would like to beat a couple of the guys around here once in a while. Uh, and if I don't do it this week, I'll do it next week. That's the way I feel. Thank you.